Hello and welcome to the Cyber One YouTube channel. My name is Ray, and in this uh, series of videos, uh, we're going to build a new version two i2 head for the Emu robot. So this will be done mostly printed with SLA using the AnyCubic Tough resin, and I thought I'd better just. Uh, list a few things before we get going a lot of people printing with resin are aware that if you print solid as I will be with this then you're going to end up with a heavier print so I'll be starting with this base that I've used previously in other videos where I've built uh, a head Fred's previous version um, I've replaced the top gear so it's uh, ready to go. It's uh, an SLA printed gear on a PLA printed uh, version 2 head or neck assembly. This uh, neck assembly uh, was detailed in a previous video. What I have done differently in it is I've added a couple of O-rings, a white one and a black one on each side just to stop it from rocking from side to side. And with that in place, this piece can now fit on here. Now, prior to recording this video, I did, this is printed as three separate parts, which I've assembled together, applied some more resin and cured. Now I could have also put in the two pieces for the jaw uh, hinge, but I'll leave that for now. Uh, and I'm going to assemble more parts of this instead. The gear here is the standard gear. Uh, the servo would be attached to it normally and it drives against the gear on this neck support component here. And when I put that onto there and then that onto there, we've got our base assembled for the head. Mounted from the underside of here is this part and I'll uh, try and put the names of the parts uh, on the screen as I go and it holds two servos mounted like so on each side and the bottom teeth. This part is upside down at the moment and so that goes on there. But the way this is made, I can't put the servos in before I affix this, otherwise uh, it blocks the screws. But we can put the teeth on. So I'm just going to pull those off temporarily and we will put the teeth on. This is the top side, which mounts up underneath here. And two screws go down from the top. And I will need two nuts for this as well. I'm using M3 screws and these are countersunk or flathead screws. Poke them down through these holes. Poke them up through the holes down here, put the nuts on. and we can do these up. Okay, so we've got teeth on. Let's take this up for a moment and assemble this on this way. For that I'll need two, uh, four more M3 screws. these M3 screws incidentally are 14 millimeters long so 
So one of the things I did do with this when I was uh, joining everything on and uh, setting everything together is I also installed nutserts, M3 nutserts. And I also put some in the back here and two up here. It, I found that the uh, any cubic tough SLA material is easy to strip out. So by adding the nutserts, uh, I stop it from stripping out. So that's the uh, bottom teeth mounted on. So now we'll mount on the two servos. Now I happen to know that the servo driver will be mounted up here somewhere. And that'll operate these two servos these two servos are the cheek puller and I'm just going to poke them through there it's a lot easier to do it now than later on now these two pieces are the cheek pullers there's one to the left and one to the right and this servo horn suits one of these servos they go on like so and we put screws through into the servo horns. For that I'm using a little self tapper and I'll put the size of this uh, on the video as I record and it is six millimeters long. Now there's provision for three screws but I'm only going to use two and we'll do the same for the other one. Now if you happen to have a servo tester handy, now's a good time to set the uh, position. Actually before we do that we'd better mount the servos, uh, screw them in. Okay, so now I'll power up our servo tester. And we'll set both of these servos to around 1500 microseconds, which is the center position. If you don't have a servo tester, you can use a um, Arduino Nano with the appropriate jumpers or an Adafruit uh, PCA9685 servo driver board uh, connected to your computer. I'll be using a Raspberry Pi down the track, but for now, setting this to around about 1500 microseconds, and then these two parts go on as close to middle as we can get them. Take the little screw that comes with the servo and lock that horn on. So that gets those two sorted and it looks all right. I did drop a minute ago the gear and I did drop a screw so the screw was easy to find. That part was a little bit harder to find. But before I get too carried away with that I do have, I am planning on using a smaller servo, one of these uh, JX servos. This is a PDI 6221MG. Two of those were recommended for this project, so that's what I've got. The uh, small servos uh, that I'm using here are also JX servos, and they are the PDI 1109MG servos as recommended for this project so the next thing i'll do is i'm going to mount that onto this gear dr drive and i'm going to use these small screws 
I've used these ones before. They're a self-tapping screw, countersunk, and they're very short. At six millimeters long. And I can have sunk these holes for these screws. And they screw in quite nicely. What I could have done also on this is actually put some resin, paint some resin on and then UV cure it as well instead of using the screws. But sometimes it's, if I want to upgrade to a large scale servo, I can. So I'm going to poke that up through there. and sit that on top. Now, normally you would put a ring in around this part and two screws in to lock it into place. This stage I'm going to hold off and I'll do that in a later video. I am going to mount this servo here and that requires two screws. That operates the upper lip uh, actuator all right so this one fits on like so it doesn't have the hole that goes over the horn and again we're using those same small black screws six millimeter counter uh, sorry self-tapping Again, this one's in the, 50, the 1500 microsecond position. We mount this so it's reasonably straight and do our best to do up the screw. Now, for the back. We've got this piece, this is the back of the skull, and it prints this way up, but we install it this way up. Two screws in through the bottom, into the screws in the back there. And I did use countersunk screws here, same as what I have been using. So that's the, the back on. Now, what I haven't pre-prepared so far is this horn from the servo needs to be fixed to this first. So I'm just going to lift this off and get some screws. When you use servos in projects it's always handy just to keep the spare parts just in case you need them elsewhere. And this is a perfect example of where you need these parts elsewhere. Okay, so that can now poke up from under there, all ready to go. This piece is a servo adapter and it mounts on here and we'll use M3 screws to hold that down. Now as you tighten these ones up, make sure you line these two holes here up the front here. Now we can push this servo on and I'll put two screws in the back here into those M3 holes. Now to hold those nuts in place I actually used a bit of resin which I then cured. Alright for the next part we use the black screw that comes with the servo. Attach that to a magnetically charged screwdriver and poke it down the hole. Now it's not really critical at this point in time 
but if you plug it into your servo and set it to the 1500 just so you get pointing the right way when you mount it chances are we'll probably be pulling this off again later Okay, so now we've got most of the the base of the head assembled. We still need to put in our jaw supports and we need to put in the upper part of the skull as well, like the support for the upper part of the skull and the jaw servo, as well as a PCA9685 which will mount around about here on the next layer of components. To see that, uh, don't forget to click on like, subscribe and ring that notification bell so you see when that video comes out. It also helps the channel a great deal and costs you absolutely nothing. If you'd like to support the channel further, I do have a Patreon account and you can join my long-term patrons, VIPs, Go Lucky and Lorenz Berger and my builder patron, Elmrails45. They all get these videos at least a week ahead of YouTube if you've got any questions, I have a Discord channel, or Discord server I should say, and you can ask questions on the server. I'll also include the uh, links for the My Robot Lab server and the official Immove server. And we'll see you in the next video.